Hey guys, Mike here with everything about concrete. So this video is going to be about how to form an inch and a half overhang for like a concrete patio, which is this will end up being. And the reason we do that is to hide that seam right between the top of that foundation wall and the bottom of the patio. When the concrete overhangs it a, a little bit like this, then that seam is a lot harder to see. And it just looks more clean, a little bit more professional. So what we do first is we tap con on a 2x4 to get the inch and a half overhang like this. So we'll, we'll just hold it right even with top of the concrete wall. We'll drill with a masonry bit and tap con screw it right into the concrete. And that's going to be the basis for screwing our form on to hold the concrete. So this is the little trick we do for overhanging an inch and a half. Now you could screw another 2x4 right on th this one at the same height and have a 3 inch overhang if you wanted to. But most of the ones we do like this are just an inch and a half and that's plenty to make it look really nice. So, I mean the reason the guy's doing this is because he's not going to backfill up to the edge of this patio when, when everything's all said and done. The patio is going to be raised up a little bit from uh, the, the finished grade, the finished landscaping. And I guess you could see that seam if you wanted to when you're driving in. So we decide just to overhang a little bit. As you can see, drilling that and screwing that 2x4 in really doesn't take a lot of work. It just takes a little bit of time. Normally, if we didn't have the inch and a half overhang, we would just drill and tap con the form right into the edge of the, the foundation and then just pour the patio like that. Um, but then you'd see that seam again, like I said, if they don't backfill up. So this is the way we do it. And it, as far as putting the, I mean, we're using two by fours here to do it. You could use two by sixes, you could use two by eights to do this. It really doesn't matter. All you really need is that inch and a half overhang. So we're just using some form and lumber that we had in the truck. And this is the beginning of that process. Now the patio is about six by 40 roughly. And we're going to end up pouring this. We'll, we'll end up forming it today. And then we're going to put a matter rebar in it. And then we'll come back and, and pour it at a later date. And that'll be on another video. But we did pour the garage in the background. You can see that there's a garage back there. That was a three bay garage. That was like 44 by 28. We got that poured today. So while we're all here, we're just getting this formed up. You can see the the uh, hammer drill I'm using to do this. That's a DeWalt battery. That one works really, really good for doing this. I'll have that in the link down in the description. And then the same with the, the drill we're using. That works really nice. I'll have all these tools down in the description, Incu including the laser I'm using. I'm using that Topcon RLH5B. You know, if you guys are in construction, I highly recommend that for the price. You can't beat that laser. It's a self-leveling laser. You can do just about anything with it. So I would check that out too if you're in the market for a laser. You can see how Luke and I are just going around the edges, forming this up. And how easily that drills in there. That's a 3 16th inch bit. And then those are those blue 2 and a half inch Tapcon screws. You can get those at any, any big box store. You can get them on Amazon. But once we get this finished up, you'll see just how we, we put the form on the outside of this using the laser to set it to grade. Those forms in the back, those pressure treated forms are going to stay there. They're going to be part of the box sill when they deck the, the foundation over. So that will be all part of the floor package. And the builder did those, so he had to do those in order for us to get this thing poured. We put the, we tap con those screws in about every two to two and a half feet, and that makes it really sturdy. That's about all you need with these. And it doesn't really take a ton to hold that really tight. And then we'll have about, I think we're going to have about six inches of concrete over the top of that wall. We're going to drill down into that wall and drive rebar for pins too to, to make sure that this thing never settles. That frost wall is actually eight feet tall and you know it's eight it goes down about seven feet in the ground you can see about a foot sticking out it's just the way it's just the way it was designed 
Um, when they when they dug the foundation, they just decided to do all eight foot wall around that. So there's a lot of fill in there. And there's a little bit of a chance it might settle later on. So that's why we're gonna drill and pin it all the way around. So I'm setting my grade now. We wanted to be about a quarter an inch lower than the top of that pressure treated. So that's what I did. Using that laser, I set my receiver right to the top of it and then I dropped it a quarter inch. And then we're gonna slope this about a half inch from you know from the from the back of it towards the front so it will have a roof over it too and the roof's going to overhang about a foot so it it's not going to see really much water or much snow but we still like to slope it it still will be an exterior patio entryway so that's what we do we just we hold the form on we're using we're using two by twelves here to form with that's what we had with us and I'm holding the laser, waiting for that to, to beep out to grade. Darren's kind of helping hold one end, and then as soon as it gets to grade, Luke's screwing it, fastening it tight so it doesn't move. And then we can use that form to go by to screw the next form. So all I really need to do is shoot this one end, and then the other end there where Darren's holding is, is right to grade if, as long as he's holding the two tops at the same level. Now, how many of you guys form like this? Let me know down in the comments if you form inch and a half overhangs or if you've never seen this before, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about concrete stuff. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If you like videos like this, if you, if you get any value out of them, please smash that like button too. I'd appreciate it. And you can see Luke's putting three or four screws in the end. And then he's going about, and we use deck screws for this, two and a half inch deck screws. So he's going about every two feet with those two to make sure it stays nice and tight. And then I'm going to mark my grades, like I said, down about a quarter inch on that PT. That's just what the builder wanted. And then we'll just snap a chalk line for that to go by when we pour. See the power trial on the back now we're... Like I said, we're power trialing this as we're forming it up. So if, if you want to learn how to do concrete work like I do, form work, pouring, finishing, stamping, epoxy floors, then my private training, <laughs> the concrete underground. And that's there's a link for that down in the show more notes of the video if you're on a cell phone. So just click the little down arrow over there on the right below the video and you can see that. So this is us pouring and that'll be the next video. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell notification and you'll, it'll pop up next time this comes up. So I post a couple videos a week, guys. Thanks again. This is everything about concrete. We'll see you on the next one.